An optional foot called the multi-purpose foot can be used for piping or cording. And this is a great channel here that you can pick piping that's about a quarter inch. This one looks a little uh, fluffier, but it does fit. It kind of compacts a little bit more, but you can definitely test your cording and make sure it runs underneath the foot. So to bring your needles up, take off your foot, touch the button in the back, lift up a little higher if needs be, and then slide the foot back underneath and lower in place. Touch the button in the back. If it doesn't click on, there it is. Now to do cording, this is a two-part process. We're gonna first cover our cord with a bias piece of fabric. I just cut this two inches. I know that's a little overkill, but it's enough to kind of get it started. Once you get going, you can cut that a little bit narrower just so you know where, where you'll be on the final outcome here. And again, cut a little bit extra so you have more room with a little extra cord. Like here, we can slide that underneath the foot. There, get it in the channel. And then the fabric will follow in just a second. So if you need to make the stitch length a little longer, and just lay the cord right in the middle of the bias piece of fabric here. We'll just kind of get that started. And once it's started, it really kind of just guides itself. You are, all you're in charge of is putting the cord in the middle of the fabric or approximate middle because again, this was extra, extra wide than what we needed it for. Okay, this will get us an idea. So once we have our cord covered, and again, make extra, you're gonna definitely wanna have plenty to use for your project. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and cut that through. We have our nice covered cord here. So now we can insert it into our fabric. You can also do this kind of in a step one and then step two, but if it's a fairly easy project, go ahead and do it all in one pass. So you can go ahead and position the cord right next to the raw edge of your fabric and then right sides together. So you're just sandwiching it in there. Again, you have extra, so that will help you kind of get it started. My needles are in the foot, so I'm gonna turn the hand wheel, bring those needles up, and then just slide this underneath the presser foot. And if you need to, just kind of wiggle that in, just so it's sitting where it needs to start. And then once you start sewing, I'll just take it all in. That pressure of the, the foot will assist in keeping it all nice and even. All right, edges all together, pin if you've feel the need, I'm just gonna go for it just so you can see. All right, the cord tra travels right in that groove. And if you can, make your project a little bit oversized and then after it's corded, you can cut everything to where it needs to be. Okay, so here's your seam on the other side and here's your piped middle. Isn't that awesome? All done on the serger.